Hi, I'm Yoram Solomon, founder of Large Scale Creativity, where we help corporate America out-innovate the startups. Today I wanted to tell you about one of my books, Bowling with a Crystal Ball. That book started with a question I was asked when I was on a panel in the University of Texas at Dallas. I was asked, where do great ideas come from? And my immediate answer was, from the future. Bowling with the Crystal Ball talks about how to predict and forecast the future of technology, how to find opportunity for market disruption, and how to navigate them through the industry. Technology moves in a very fast pace. Processing speed increases 47% every year. Disk storage capacity increases 40% every year. And even digital camera resolution increases by some 17% every year. Why is it so hard for us to forecast or accept such exponential technology performance growth? I'll give you an example. What if we folded a piece of paper 50 times? How thick would it be? A foot? A yard? It would actually be 62 million miles, which is two-thirds of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. That's how powerful exponential growth is. This is why it's so hard for us to accept it. What if cars and car performance would grow that fast exponentially. A car with the 1600cc engine back in 1990 would have about 90 horsepower. That car, if it grew as fast as processing speed increased, by 2005 it would have 23,000 horsepowers. And by 2015 it would have 880,000 horsepowers. That's how powerful exponential growth is. And this is exactly what Bowling with the Crystal Ball is about. The book has three parts. The first part talks about forecasting the future of technology. It starts with the psychology behind it, Moore's Law and beyond. It continues with specific examples of about 18 trends that are actually validated for 2014. The second part has how to invent the future, how to create disruptive implementations, and find new opportunities based on technology trends. And in the third part, how do you navigate it through the industry? How do you make it happen? The book has 19 chapters with 51 figures in 300 pages. It covers three main industries, personal computers, mobile phones, and consumer electronics. It also covers topics such as the evolution trends, data errors, make versus buy decisions, and the Gartner's hype cycle. One of the main takeaways from the book is that to create effective market disruptions, you need to follow the technology and not the market. The book explains how technology market disruptions occur. Bowling with a Crystal Ball focuses on the methodology for accurate, fast-paced technology forecasting and offers 18 specific predictions that were validated in 2014 with very high accuracy. In 2010 and 2011, I used this book as the textbook to teach a graduate technology forecasting class at the Institute for Innovation and Entrepreneurship at the University of Texas at Dallas Business School. Bowling with the Crystal Ball came out originally in 2007. This 2015 is the second edition and it has three additions to it compared to the first edition. First, the story of USB 3. See, the story of USB 3 is what inspired the first edition. However, the book came out originally two months before Intel announced USB 3, so that chapter was not included. It is now. The second edition is the book was written in 2007, and there were 18 specific forecasts made for seven years out. Seven years would have been 2014. So the second edition includes the validation in 2014 of those trends, many of them. And the third edition is the introduction to the book I'm currently writing, Unkill Creativity. For more information, check out our website, our Twitter account, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Bowling with the Crystal Ball is available for purchase on Amazon. Once again, I'm Yoram Solomon, author of Bowling with the Crystal Ball and founder of Large Scale Creativity. Thank you for watching.